This one's tough. This one's really tough, but I need you to listen to this. A lot of girls are always talking to other dudes. So what I'm trying to say is, your girl's always going to talk to other dudes. But when there's a guy she thinks is ugly or a guy that doesn't interest her, she's going to go and be like, babe, look, this dude hit me up. Just so she can pretend like she's telling you about it. But in reality, for every guy she shows you, there's like three more she ain't talking about, you know. Stay safe. Love you. We are no longer slandering men who unsend DMs. Y'all, like, this girl posted on her story that she wanted to go out on a walk with her dog, but she wanted to go alone. So me, naturally, wanting to make friends, I respond, let's go. Y'all, I've been on scene for three days. Three days. Like, I'm actually humiliated. I don't know who made it this easy. You're going to get married. You are signing a contract till death do you part. And you got to wake up every day and choose your partner every fucking day, even when you hate them. Even when they gain weight, even when they're drinking a lot, even when they make stupid ass financial decisions that you don't agree with, you just better make damn sure you know what you're signing up for. I'll tell you one thing, I don't quit. I've been quit on, but I don't quit. And I can sleep at night knowing that I did not quit. And neither should you. Oh, girls are like, oh, I've gotten every single guy I've ever wanted. Like they're bragging about it or something. This is how delusional I am. This is how I thought it works, you know? I'm like, well, duh, you're a girl. Don't you? Don't we just get everything we ever wanted? Like that's that's what's going on in my brain. Cause since I was little, I'm like, I thought women just get the pick of the litter. You know, I just thought like we get to be like, I want that one and I'll get it. I didn't know there was a chance I wasn't gonna get it because I always got it. You you know what I mean? You know. You know what I mean? A woman costs rent. If you're paying $1,500 a month in rent, that's probably what a woman's gonna cost you just based upon opportunity cost because while, you with, while you're with her, you couldn't been getting more money. Until a woman liability is about 5% of your net monthly revenue, she should be less than 5% of your net monthly revenue. Now you can safely say, okay, I can take care of you. But if she's, and this falls into understanding debt to income ratio. When you calculate your debt to income ratio, you got to calculate your woman into your debt to income ratio. Don't just include your rent, your gas, utilities, spendable income. No, 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 no. Include your woman because she's probably your rent. A lot of women don't want the truth. They want comfort. They'd rather you lie to them for years than to tell them the truth quick. A girl is viral right now because she was dating a dude for two months. He came to her after two months and told her he ain't seen no future with her and he broke up with her. Instead of accepting it and moving on and being happy that only two months was lost, she mad. She upset. But why not just be glad that he didn't waste your time for more than two months pretending like he liked you and pretending like there would be a future when it really wouldn't be. But women are more comfortable with the lies and somebody leading them on for years and years instead of somebody being up front and telling them the truth. See, one thing I don't think a lot of y'all women really want to face the fact is that you can't accept the truth. If men truly told you the reason why they ghost you, why they changed their mind about you, you can't accept it. Therefore, most men avoid the conversation with you. This is why y'all have these conversations online and you can't figure out why the man is hot and cold. You can't figure out why you was minding your business and then he bothered you. You can't understand why if he didn't like you, why he didn't leave you alone. Because the truth of the matter is, he might have did like you. But he changed his mind. I don't know how is it so hard for women to understand that men are allowed to change their mind. The same way you be getting icks about men, men get icks about you too. And like I said, I really don't think a lot of y'all can handle the truth on those icks that be turning men off. It's kind of in your best interest to take the L and let it go because I don't think you want to know what it truly was. Do you really want him to come and tell you that he didn't like the way you look when your wig came off? Do you really want him to tell you that he didn't like how your body looked when the lights was on? Do you really want him to tell you that your breath is a little funky? That your cat stink a little bit, got a little scent to it that he don't like? He don't like your kids. He don't like your family. Your personality don't hit for him. Do you truly want to hear what the real reason is on why he liked you at first and he changed his mind? One thing about these repeated conversations online, most of them are continuously being had because women are just unwilling to accept the truth. See, instead of realizing that there is something about you that may be giving men the ick, you would rather hear somebody tell you, 
Girl, the reason why he did that is because you're just too good of a woman. He just can't deal with a woman as good as you. No, he just don't like you. It's that simple. He didn't like you. He thought he did, got to know you, and he decided he don't like you. He simply changed his mind. Say it with me. Changed his mind like everybody is allowed to do. Sometimes the things that change people's mind is things that you can't help things that you can't change. And sometimes it is stuff that you can't control, right? I mean, sometimes they get to know you and they see how dysfunctional your life is. You got a kid by Pookie. He see the way you and Pookie argue back and forth and he don't want to get in the middle of that. He see how your life is with your family and how it's always drama with them. Don't want to deal with that. See how bad your kids is. Your kids don't even listen to you. Why in the world would he want to come in and play stepdaddy to some bad kids? Like you be forgetting about all of the stuff that you be having going on and you limit it down to simply he just playing games. No, he wasn't playing games. He did like you. Then once all of that other stuff came into the mix, he don't like you no more. Y'all really got to stop telling yourself lies and look at yourself in the mirror. We are all imperfect people. But you have to be willing to accept the fact that your imperfections, some people are not going to be willing to deal with them. There is somebody who will, but everybody not going to want to deal with it. And you have to understand that that is possibly a reason why somebody ghosted you, cut you off, or made up a reason why not to deal with you no more. All of that, it ain't you, it's me, I just need to get myself together, I'm not in a place to be in a relationship. Yes, it's BS. But the main reason why usually you get in BS is because he's trying to avoid telling you what the real reason was on why he changed his mind about you. Like I said in the beginning of the video, a lot of times you are not really ready to hear what the real ick or reason was on why that man changed his mind about you. Just accept the ghosting, him moving on, him lying and telling you that he needed to get himself together. Whatever it was he did, to break the situation off with you, just go ahead and take the L. But I promise you, it probably hurt a lot less than if he had to really tell you the truth on what it was about you that turned him off.